Good evening, my fellow Americans, white, black, and brown, and the black Americans who are the true biblical Israelites of the Bible. I have made a petition to the White House to repatriate back the black Americans or the Israelites to our homeland, Israel. Now, petition, it is inherent on us to be under our own leadership as well. So not just to go back to Israel. We can jump on a plane right now and go to Israel and apply for citizenship, right? But this is for us to be under our own rulership. And I am making this decision based on this scripture, Isaiah 14 and 2. The nations will escort Israel and bring it back to its homeland. Then the house of Israel will possess the nations as men servants and maid servants in the Lord's land. They will make captives of their captors and rule over their oppressors. Please go to the link. I will have the link listed below for you to sign the White House petition to repatriate back the black Americans who are the true biblical Israelites back to our homeland Israel under our rulership now. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Kohlayim La, Albanawa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash. Double honors to the elders and elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akim out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And a strong Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth your eyes from Yahweh. Amoth your eyes from Yahweh. All right, coming at y'all with a real quick hit. Another beautiful lesson. Uh, the lesson was inspired to me by the uh, uh, beloved elder, Manatazak Ba. All right, Shalom Barakatha, brother. And Shalom Barakatha to all the hopeful elect brother, brothers out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, man. With all uh, humbleness and humility, man. Shalom Barakatha to all you brothers, man. Okay, but um, you got this, uh, this Israelite, uh, Hebrew Israelite uh, pastor uh, that the brother had put up... Um, I want to say maybe today or yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but basically, you know, you know, the dude looked like Don King to me, man. He, he got the Don King uh, little crown haircut, shaped up beard and all that, man, to do. And, and furthermore, look, man, if you're not reading out the, the King James Version 1611 Bible, man, every other Bible is obsolete, man. Evil E, the red hairy cave monkey, tried to revise the Bible and... and put his own touch on it, his own word, his own phrases on it, man. You have to read the King James Version 1611, man, okay? That's the only true Bible, man. The King James Version 1611, okay, Don King Jr., okay? All right, so let's get it, man. Let's go to 2 Samuel. Let's, 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 let's get to the scriptures, man. We ain't going to waste no time. Let's get to these scriptures, man, because it's going to be a quick one, man, straight to the point, man. A gut punch and an uppercut, man. So let's get it. First precept is going to be 2 Samuel. Because uh, Salahia, this dude think that he's going to be able to be uh, Messiah-like and, and, and get a petition signed by the government. Look, Jake, man, your enemy hates you, man. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, I believe, uh, precept 12. Never trust thine enemy, man. You're not, you, don't, you ain't reading the scriptures, man. All right, 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 10, straight to the point. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel and will plant them and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them anymore as before time. So Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is going to redeem us, man. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is going to put all 12 tribes Back in the land, man. Not no damn nigga, man. Not 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 Don King Jr., man. Okay? Not uh 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 uh, uh, uh G G O C C not nothing no man, no fleshly being is gonna put Israel back in uh Yasharala, man. But the heavenly father, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, man. 
All right, let's go to 2 Kings, man. Let's keep on going. Up 2 Kings, yeah, 2 Kings. Yeah, how about Shim Yahweh Shah is going to plant us back in the land, man? 2 Kings chapter 17. Verse 39, straight to the point. But the but Yahweh your power ye shall fear, and he, and he shall deliver you out of the land of all Salakia. I butchered it. But Yahweh your power ye shall fear. But Yahweh your power ye shall fear, and he shall deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies, man. And who are our enemies, man? Every other nation outside of Israel, man. But our chief enemy is our wicked brother, man. Esau, Edom, man. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to redeem us and put us back in the land. And he's going to take us out of the clutch of our enemies, man. Not no damn nigga, man. Not Don, not, not Don King Jr., man. You, you, you should have followed behind your uh, your father and, and uh, went into the business of boxing. Because you being a man of the Lord is not working for you, brother. Let's keep on going, man. Let's read that again. But Yahweh your power will, but Yahweh your power ye shall fear, and he shall deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. This is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's movie, man. He's the director, the, the screenwriter, uh, the, the publisher. He's everything, man. Point blank, period, man. Let's go to Amos. Let's 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 get something out of Amos real quick. Amos chapter 9, I'm going to read verses 14 to 15. And I will bring again the captivity of my people, Yasharala, and they shall build the way cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them, and I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more, and they shall no more, but hold on, let's step it back real quick. And I will plant them. The I is Yahweh. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is going to plant Israel back in that land. And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, saith Yahweh, thy power. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is going to put us back in the land, man. Not no, not no, not no person, man. Not no mortal, mortal being, man. Okay, what do you not get, man? This is, we we're having a spiritual war, man. This is not carnal, man. And that's and that's how that's a, that's another thing that uh we see with you men, man. That y'all carnal, man. Y'all not spiritual, man. Let's keep on going. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah sixteen, I believe. All right, this is Jeremiah sixteen, starting off at verse fourteen. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that it shall no more be said. Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Yasharala from the land of the north and from the lands where he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers, man. Self-explanatory. Let's keep on going, man. Let's go to the 23rd chapter in Jeremiah. Let's, let's expound on that, man. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 23, starting off at verse 5. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will raise up unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Who is that? Hmm. That's who y'all ignorantly call Jebus Cross, Yahweh Shai. Let's keep on going. In his days, Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness, Yahweh Shai. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that they shall no more say Yahweh liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but Yahweh liveth, which brought up which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of out of the north country and from all countries, whether I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their land, and they shall dwell in their own land, man. Salakia. Yep, and they shall dwell in their own land, man. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is gonna put us back in the land, man. What did you not get, man? 
You're not reading. You're not reading the scriptures, man. You a lightweight, man. You should have. You should have followed behind your father, man, and, and did the boxing stuff, man. Been, been a manager for boxing, cause being a man of the Lord, you looking terrible, man. We see right through you. All right, let's go to Revelation, cause your Hawa Bashi and Hawa is gonna redeem us, man. Damn, Revelation. Oh, there it go right there. What the heck? All right, Revelation chapter 18. Revelation chapter 18, starting off at verse 20. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh have avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. So this place has to be destroyed, okay, for us to go home, man. A kingdom falls and a kingdom is, ri is risen. And that kingdom that's going to be risen is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's kingdom, man. With Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12 disciples, and the 144,000 governing body, man. This is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's movie. This is not your walk, man. You have no power over nothing, man. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai controls all, man. And everything obeys his will, his commandments, man. Everything. Let's get the last precept, man, because this, this is what's going to happen when all this happens, man. It's going to be rejoicing over the earth, man. Let's go to 1 Chronicles. 1 Chronicles chapter 16. 1 Chronicles chapter 16, starting off at verse 31. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice and let men sing among the nations. Let Yahweh reigneth, let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice in all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the woods sing out at the presence of Yahweh because he cometh to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks unto Yahweh for he is good for his mercy endure forever. And say ye save us, O power of our salvation, and gather us together and deliver us from the heathen that we may give thanks to thy holy name and glorify in thy praise. Blessed be Yahweh, power of Israel forever and ever. And all the people said, Amen and praise Yahweh, man. So everything on the earth is going to be rejoicing, man. The winds, the trees, the daggone animals, the seas, everything is going to be rejoicing when this red hairy cave monkey is brought down, man. And Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah redeems his people, man. Not, not no mortal man, man. What do y'all not get, man? Okay? So, man, I don't want to rock this out. This was edifying to the hopeful elect, the true, sincere, hopeful elect. And so, with that, I'm just going to say, Koholayim la. Albanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakradash, Kwam Yasharala, Ababa Ball, Shalawam. Good evening, my fellow Americans, white, black, and brown, and the black Americans who are the true biblical Israelites of the Bible. I have made a petition to the White House to repatriate back the black Americans or the Israelites to our homeland, Israel. Now, addition, it is inherent on us to be under our own leadership as well. So not just to go back to Israel, we can jump on a plane right now and go to Israel and apply for citizenship, right? But this is for us to be under our own rulership. And I am making this decision based on this scripture, Isaiah 14 and two. The nations will escort Israel and bring it back to its homeland. Then the house of Israel will possess the nations as men servants and maid servants in the Lord's land. They will make captives of their captors and rule over their oppressors. Please go to the link. I will have the link listed below for you to sign the White House petition to repatriate back the black Americans who are the true biblical Israelites back to our homeland Israel under our rulership. Now, 